I've been getting quite a few messages asking for a copy of Jarvis's code. All right, so you won't like this video. The answer is no, and it probably always will be. So let's talk about it. Why is that? I wanted to make a quick video about why I don't give out the code. It's not because I want to be mean or spiteful towards others. I'm actually really flattered that so many people seem to like how it's coming out. I do have my reasons for why I don't just copy it and email it to everybody. Actually, there are three main reasons. Number one, it's not good code. I'm not a professional programmer. It isn't my main job or anything close to it. I've learned some C++ and Java in college, but not Python. Many years after graduating college, I started teaching myself to code Python through YouTube videos on the weekend, books at night, and podcasts while I was driving to and from work. I still consider myself as learning Python and I'm not an expert. Nowhere close. And the code for Jarvis is nothing really fancy. It's just long and redundant in some parts. Someone recently commented that it was a glorified if-then statement, and they're not far from wrong on that. The dialogue flow integration, all the API calls, the GPT for all integration, and the GUI are, in a way, just creative additions to a case or nested if-then statements. Number two, it's not originally my idea. Now, I'm sure everybody knows that the original idea for Jairus came from the Iron Man movies. Then later on, it seemed like every company brought out their own chatbot and called it a virtual assistant. I had an iPhone at the time and I was excited about Siri. I tried using it everywhere when it first came out. Later, I messed with the Google Assistant, Cortana, and finally Alexa. They were all cool at first, but eventually just seemed lacking. Everything they're programmed to do felt like it was for their big business first and me the user second. And they haven't gotten any better. Just use an Echo device and see how many times it wants to suggest selling you a new shirt off Amazon, but can't seem to turn on the lights in the hallway correctly. So I looked at other programs out there for free and came across a program called Lynx. If anyone else has used Lynx before, let me know in the comments. Lynx was coded in C Sharp, if I remember correctly. It was free for the basic program, and if you wanted to get advanced features, you could upgrade to their Mark III system. It could respond back, play music, access websites, and play videos. A lot of people were using Lynx with the same Ivona Brian voice I'm using now and calling that system Jarvis. During that time, I got the idea to put Lynx on a small Windows tablet I had because I wanted to have an assistant I could carry with me. I also thought the program kept everything on my PC. But once the PC didn't have internet access, the program wouldn't run correctly, and I knew some information was being sent off somewhere for some reason. And then I saw a video on YouTube from a young kid named Hugh Prosser. He was demonstrating his own Jarvis system he coded in high school, and talked about how it did his homework for him and everything. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. You should really see it. So I decided I would try to build my own assistant to run specifically on that low-powered tablet. I watch videos from many coding YouTubers, Tech with Tim, Coding with Harry, Tech Moto, and many more. I used code I found from the book Automate the Boring Stuff with Python and listened to many Python podcasts to see what the newest features were or get ideas I can use for my project. Literally everything I coded into my assistant is a copy of other code that can be found online. Actually, mostly on YouTube also. And number three, everything in its code is tailored to my personality. If I take out all the personal information, the code won't make any sense in parts. Many of the responses are coded to how I speak. There are the simple things like, I have thanks buddy as a way to pause his listening. Who's in charge here makes a joke about my wife being the boss. Let's be honest here, sir. Judy is in charge and you are aware of that. But there are more nuanced things like how I have the sentences structured to make the responses flow for me. There are a lot of things in that code that might not make sense to other people. Personal family jokes, office jokes, the way he says things might not be appropriate for everybody. <laughs> and you would either spend more time removing or trying to reword those responses than you probably would want to. Now, I originally posted my first Jarvis video to just kind of show off to family and friends what I created. Yeah, I'd, I want to make a YouTube channel, making a community of cool people that like to program things, talk about computers and cool tech. But the original idea for posting Jarvis and continuing to post Jarvis is I want to see what other people can build. I mean, I'm limited in my creativity, honestly. I keep him simplified, he's useful for me, but I want to see what other people can do. And I was inspired by the things I saw people do with their assistants that kind of, I guess you say, sparked the flame for creativity. 
So I do want to pass that back to people. If you get creative from anything that I create, cool, let me know. I'm flattered by that. But I also want to see what people can do with this. Like, I've made those Jarvis tutorial videos, and those are basically basic parts of how he works. I know I need to update it and add the Vosk thing and some of the new things that he has, but honestly, I'm still messing with those and learning their limitations before I want to tell people how to do it because I don't want to sit there and tell someone to do something and it fries their system. I'm really thinking about creating a website with a form for everybody to talk about programming Jarvis, cool tech like the mini laptop, the mini PC, and modifying things. If that's something you're interested in, let me know. But I hope this answers that question of why I don't give out the code. This went on a little longer than I thought it was going to, kind of a rant. If you like these behind the scenes, honest ranting videos, uh, let me know. Maybe I'll do more, maybe I'll do less. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll talk to you later.